Welcome to the Games Freezer. Right, so I've been playing a great little game um, called Swap Quest. Um, it's a really good, fun, addictive game. It's been out on mobile for a while um, and it's made its way now onto Steam. So um, we're going to jump right in uh, to the game and pass the first tutorials onto a, a level called Lumina Meadows. Um, and this is where the game's first real level starts. So, what's it all about? Well, at the start, you'll be given um, some quests. And it's a pretty much a matching game, like a um, a game where you've got to make uh, the tiles match up in order to make this pathway. So, look, I'm dragging different shaped tiles from from one side of the screen to the other. You can do swaps between the tiles, or you can drag one in. Uh, depends how your play style is and basically you're trying to get away from that purple horde that is after you and that's basically uh, invaded this kingdom uh, and it's sort of like the backstory around that is it's pretty um, pretty standard fare but um, it's all about the the gameplay mechanic of this uh, swapping the tiles around now as you come across these treasure chests you want to aim towards them you get more um, jewels and then yeah the more jewels you have the more uh, damage you can do uh, with your attacks when you eventually fight uh, your enemies within the within the level so within the, each quest you'll be asked to maybe fight a certain amount of enemies pick up a certain amount of uh, jewels um, varying different uh, things you you have to do before you can complete the level fully um, so this is what you want to be doing is sort of aiming to um, pick up the jewels as you go round um, and alter your path of your of your hero um, in order to do so by um, snapping in these different tiles. At the start, you get to choose between a couple of um, heroes, um, a, a boy and a girl, um, and that's basically the only choice you get. That's right up front, um, and then you're thrown into a couple of short tutorials uh, in order to introduce the game mechanic so they're all right they do the job but um yeah as i say this is the first sort of real level um the impending horde as it comes across is actually um quite effective because you do really feel the pressure of trying to find the next tile in order to uh, progress your hero you can actually stop your hero from walking once he starts by clicking on him but you're also at the same time looking to try and find a tile that's uh, going to get him to across to the next uh, objective so one of the objectives for me is to fight um, these different um, different enemies on the screen. Um, these little bouncing slime balls uh, are uh, slime enemies and you need to fight, um, I think it's five of those on this level in order to, uh, in order to um, progress. You're also tasked with um, looking in the bush for jewels. Um, I think it's up to 15 jewels from a bush. Um, once you get that, that's that ticked off as well. So there's always these little um, side things, these side quests that you've got to do in order to progress. And you're basically aiming for the checkered flag on the bottom there of the of the line at the base of the screen um, in order to finish the level. So um, that's what you're ultimately aiming at. And you can see that this has obviously come from a uh, a mobile gaming background because that's the kind of uh, lineage that this has got you can sort of see how this would really work well and has worked well on the on the mobile on the mobile scene but i think this comes across pretty cool in the uh, in the steam uh, pc gaming environment as well because um the aesthetic's pretty cool you can choose at the start actually whether you want it to be a pixel art or a smooth art um aesthetic and i like this pixel art style i think it's um it suits the game really well as you can see there, I just had a fight with a slime, um, got a bit of XP, um, and got some uh, jewels scattered across the map that I can now go around and collect if I uh, aim my path correctly. Um, those little pools of water there, you can actually um, click on them as well and release uh, different items, jewels, etc. Um, some of the uh, treasure chests also contain not only jewels, but... Um, life hearts so as you can uh, go and collect those if you lose any any uh, um, hearts during a, a battle um, so that's pretty cool 
Um, there's a few different types of enemies you've got there as well. You've got a, a slime, you've got some um, wasp, like bumblebee things. Uh, I think that rabbit might even be an enemy down there, but I ain't going to get um, get near him, I don't think, uh, with the way this path is branching out. Um, you sort of find yourself uh, frantically looking for a left turn or a right turn as you play the game, which is pretty cool. Um, gives you that urgency to get across and I like the kind of feeling that you are actually on a quest um, it does come across pretty well actually you've got your sort of inventory on the left hand side uh, with your hearts etc it's a real good moulding of sort of match free style puzzle elements uh, with a kind of twist to it um, I think I, I really like the way the, the guys there have uh, pulled that off um, uh, it's, a, it's a different game to what I'm used to and uh, yeah, I, I do enjoy it um, quite a bit it's one of those ones where you could uh, maybe sit down for a, like an hour session um, jump in quick and then jump out not too deep um, pretty cool uh, and a nice one to, to chill out to you've got some nice um, chill out tunes there playing as you, as you go along um, it kind of fits the mood of the game pretty well um, I like the way uh, you can also sort of click on there's um, different stones uh, and rocks around so while your uh, your players walking along doing what he needs to do you can also go and um, hit those stones and release some more jewels onto the map and then again you can sort of go and uh, search for those like as I've beat that um, slime monster there you see a load of hearts and jewels go across the map as well so that's pretty cool could go around and collect them if I was any good but I'm not actually very good at this game yet as you know that's kind of like a reoccurring theme with all my gaming I'm not actually good at gaming I just do this because I love it and uh, with a day that I am actually any good at gaming I probably uh, would stop because <laughs> it wouldn't be worth it anymore right so here we go we're getting our way around we are nearly at the finish line I think I've got to beat a couple more enemies um, in order to progress see if I can maybe get that um, treasure chest as well I'm near enough now um, so yeah okay some of the treasure chests they come with locks on them so you have to tap the lock before you get to it and that will uh, that'll open it up it actually takes a few taps for it to uh, lose the lock all of these seem to be open so I won't have to do that um, I'm now trying to work out where I need to go next I want to fight one of those uh, wasp things that would be pretty cool or will I get away with fighting this little slime ball Whoa, I don't know see the horde is coming after me so I don't know whether I'm going to get hit the fight's going on Oh no, he's walking towards a bloody hold. Now if you go into the hold, as you can see there, you actually get booted forward. So that is pretty cool. Um, that you don't just die immediately after spending all that time trying to uh, progress. So uh, you'll lose a bit of life, you get booted backwards and that kind of actually helps you. Um, because you want to go that way anyway. But now I've got to try and line up a few more fights in order to make sure that I progress let's see where we go to okay here we go up we come right so if I can just get around here have a fight with this wasp have a go on that um, treasure chest if I get enough time as well let's see where I can go so every time you get a choice of uh, direction it'll give you an arrow point in uh, in those ways yep level up good stuff um, and then you'll be asked to sort of click on that arrow the way you want it to want him to progress it actually looks a bit like Alex Kidd um, in Miracle World on this uh, on this graphic right okay so now where are we gonna go next come on the hall's gonna get me unless I make a bloody decision uh, mm. this is it I'm feeling the pressure now oh god uh, what am I going to do? Uh, if I can come down here, I think one of the other um, objectives was to finish the level with full life, so I should be able to do that now. I've got full five hearts, so that's good. 
we're near the finish line. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have a rock with this rabbit. Rabbit rock. Let's go and deal with him. That's it. Oh, that's nice. He's a goner. Two hits and he's gone. Alright. Away we go. Just gotta get over the finish line now. Here we go. Let's join that up. Bring another straight one if I can find it. Uh, what have we got here? Oh no, that'll do, yeah. I'll go up there. It's like a left turn. Yeah, and all I need is. Oh, where am I going? Ah, oh, no, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I can go up now. Get that treasure chest just in case. I think I might need some more jewels, potentially. Can't remember now. The one thing I would say is it's not intuitive as to where to find out what your objectives for the quest are. Um, it probably is on there somewhere, but I can't see it immediately. Don't know what button to press either. So um, yeah, I'll have to um, look that up. But it, yeah, maybe that could be a bit more easier to locate. Maybe it could have it on the left-hand side of the screen in order to quickly check well, how you're doing against each of your objectives, or even do a tick box up in the top right-hand corner or something that shows you one, two, and three, and then maybe hover over that to expand it um, for a bit more information on what you're actually meant to be doing uh, okay I'm gonna do it and I've done it there you go congratulations so what's happened here so 10 minutes took me to complete blimey enemies kill 5 jewels collected 36 tile swap 57 so I um, got all my quests completed finished level with full health defeated 5 enemies and got 10 more jewels so that's all good so there you go that is my um, 10 minute taster for this nice little uh, game called Swap Quest. Um, it's a crafty little one. I like it a lot. Um, give it a go. See what you think. Honestly, worth a, worth a little spend on the uh, on Steam. Okay, this is Richard. This is Games Freezer. That's been the 10 minute taster for Swap Quest. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share www.gamesfreezer.eu